Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, tactical reloads with the AK-47. Okay. Uh, now, before we get into the AK-47, let's quickly talk about the AR-15 and how we reload that and how we do tactical reloads with that. Um, AR-15 tends to be very easy because of the way the magazine uh, inserts. Okay. Um, if I wanted to do an emergency reload, I basically hit the button, drop the magazine, next one goes in. So basically, you can do this all day. Now, if I wanted to do a tactical reload where I retain the magazine, right, so I can put it away because, let's say I've shot half of this magazine and I want to hold on to that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this magazine here from the base uh, using basically the two fingers, my index finger and my thumb. I'm going to grab the other magazine with my other fingers. I'm going to pull that out, insert the next magazine, okay? So, again, I'm grabbing from the base, you know, holding index fingers here. Um, pulling it out as you see when I pull it out you can see the new magazine the one that's going in it sits it sits higher uh, so it will easily go in okay um, so that's how we do our tactical reloads with the AR-15 okay uh, so now let's compare that to the AK-47 um, the AK-47 if the magazine instead of drop going straight in it rocks in okay so basically there's a rivet here and, and there's a hook on the front of the magazine and we basically we got a hook in front of that rivet and that's how the magazine goes in uh, and the way we do let's say an emergency reload with this right I mean there's a lot of ways out there but uh, the most common way is to take the next magazine hit that release use that to pop out the magazine get in there and get that in. Now, as you can see, that you know, uh, that's a perfect example of how it can, you know, of how it can be a little bit more difficult to get that AK magazine in there. Uh, let's try that again. Get that out. Get the next one in. Okay, that one, that time went in a little bit easier. So the question comes. Okay, fine. We know how to do this. We seem to be able to do this with a little effort. We can get it to work. In there. there we go. Okay. So so obviously it takes a little bit more effort to rock this in as compared to the AR-15 where it just shoots straight up. All right, so the question becomes now, how? what if we want to retain the magazine, okay? Because in this, the way we're, I was reloading this right now, the magazine was dropping to the ground. Uh, if I still had some ammunition in there, you know, I would basically, I, I gotta go down to the ground to pick it up. Uh, and that, you know, especially if it's, if, if it's nighttime and it's dark, you know, I might have a difficult time finding that magazine. So um, what a lot of people will do, okay, is basically they'll, you know, you know, they'll have this magazine. They'll take this magazine out. You know, they'll 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 basically put it in their in their you know in the pouch or something with a pocket, and then they'll basically take the next magazine and rock that in. Um, now, as you can see, okay, uh, this leaves me. You know, th th there's there's a longer period of time where I'm left with this gun without any magazine in it. Okay, um, so you know, I I've been working on on different ways to try to. Uh, streamline that uh, to make that more efficient to make that faster I, I generally don't like to make up things you know everything that I teach is usually you know something that is combat tested that I've learned through uh, um, you know through veterans you know who have been in you know different wars um, that's where most of my AR-15 experience comes from um, and and you know the same thing with the AKs I, I talked to uh, um, obviously we don't here in the United States we don't have um, too many guys that actually use them in combat, but uh, by being in regions, let's say like Afghanistan or in, in Iraq, where you know the other side uses AKs, they're able to gain experience from them and, and bring it back to us. Okay, so this is one of those er areas where I have not been able to get combat, um, you know, combat uh, dependent information. So I kind of have to come up with something on my own. And the the method that I found, okay, is let me put that. So if you're if you're in a situation where you are shooting, okay, and let's say I'm using this as cover right here, right? So so I'm over here, you know, I'm scanning. Okay, I decide coast is safe. I want to do now a tactical reload. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the muzzle of my gun and basically stick it into my cover. Okay, so the gun is locked between my cover and my shoulder, and my hands are able to go free. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take the magazine out. Okay, take the magazine out, have that ready, right? Take a last look around, and then I'll use my right hand to remove the magazine, and then my left hand to put it back in as quickly as I can, okay? 
So, so let's do that again. Again, if you're right-handed, you're going to remove the magazine with your right hand, and you're going to insert with your left hand, and try to do that as quickly as possible. There we go. All right, and then from that position, you can store the magazine. Um, you know, and basically you're ready to continue doing whatever you were doing. Um, so that's the method that I have found to be the most, uh, uh, the most effective, the most reliable. You know, I've seen people try to, you know, do the two magazines in one hand switch. I mean, I can't even do it without gloves. You know, if I try to do it with my bare hands, I still can't really manage it uh, without really fumbling the magazine. And I certainly can't do it with gloves on. Uh, this method that I just demonstrated with, with insulated gloves, I am able to do reliably. Uh, so I think that's something that you guys should uh, try out. And I think what I demonstrated right here is the main difference, as far as I'm concerned, between the AR-15 uh, and the AK-47. All the other stuff I can overlook, okay? Um, the AR-15 is a little bit more accurate. What that means is like with this Palmetto uh, AR here, I get a three inch group at 110 yards. With this washer, I get a four inch group at 110 yards. So there's a one inch difference between them at, at, at 110 yards. So, I mean, to me, that's pretty insignificant. You know, I mean, the, the combat wise, I mean, they're both pretty, you know, equally accurate as far as I'm concerned. Um, as for weight wise, I mean, the, the, this AR is about a pound lighter unloaded versus the, the uh, AK over here. This weighs six and a half pounds. This weighs seven and a half pounds unloaded. So there's no, there's no major difference there. Um, I find the safety selector a little bit easier on the AR because I can basically, you, you, you know, you, you're basically flipping your thumb back and forth. Uh, whereas with the AK, there's basically a bigger motion. Okay, and you know, sometimes it, you know, might even get stuck. So there's a bigger motion here, but again, it's something I can overlook. It's something I can get used to, you know, with practice. With more practice, I would just get better at it. Um, Optics-wise, there's also a, you know, an advantage to the AR, I think, because the optic mounts directly on the receiver, um, and it's just more solid. With the AK, the optic basically mounts on a side rail. Uh, and basically, you know, if I push down on this, I mean, that's going to move a little bit. You know, this is obviously, you know, less stable. It's pretty, it's stable enough, but, but you know, it, you know um, Basically, if I need to get to the internals of this gun, I have to remove this. I need to remove the rail in order to remove the dust cover and get inside the gun. Um, and what I find is that every time I do that, it will lose a little. You know, it'll lose zero, not a whole lot. I mean, it's still combat effective. I think you know, within 100 yards. Uh, but it, you know, I will, will probably have to re-zero it at least by a couple of clicks. You know, in some direction. Okay. Um, some people, for that reason, will mount their optics on the gas tube over here. Um, it, you know, that brings a different issue because the gas tube tends to get very hot. Uh, and, you know, it can, you know, it can basically burn up your, your optic if you put it, if you mount it on the gas tube. So that's one of the reasons why I like to mount it back here. It's also more consistent, you know, between my rifles, you know, because I shoot my AR with the optic back here. I shoot my, you know, my AK with the optic back here. So there's, there's less of a difference as I go from one to the other. So, you know, in all other respects, I, mean, I consider both guns pretty equal. I mean, the AK does have the advantage as far as durability. I mean, I've seen people open up the dust cover and throw like dirt in there and the gun still functions. So, so the AK definitely has a little bit of advantage in the durability um, field, but the AK is also pretty, pretty, um, pretty durable, um, especially with these, um, with, with the, uh, with the carbine length gas systems. They tend to over gas these so that, you know, they basically, they got a lot of pressure in there and that, that bolt will cycle, you know, even if the, even if it gets dirty. Um, so I, as far as I'm concerned, practically speaking, there's not that much of a difference between these two guns, except when it comes to reloading. Um, as I demonstrated, the AR-15 is a lot easier to reload, especially under stressful circumstances, as compared to the AK. But I think that, you know, it's, you know, to me, it's like one of those things that, hey, I want to practice it. I want to get good at it. I, you know, I think everybody should have an AR. I think everybody should have an AK and everybody should have a Glock. Okay, those are, you know, my top three guns. Everybody should have those three guns. You should have lots of other guns besides that. But those three guns should be in every collection. Uh, and everybody should be proficient with using an AK uh, and working through, you know, the minor differences that exist between these two designs. Um, thanks for watching. Post some comments. Uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.